Attention everyone, there's been a reported bow and arrow shooting in Norway. It happened on the 13th of October at around 6 p.m. The last time there was a mass shooting in Norway was in 1988. A gunman killed four people and wounded two others. The bow shooter's name is Breivik. The man fired arrows at shoppers in a small Norwegian town. He killed five people before being arrested by authorities. Authorities don't know precisely what motivated the shooter, but they infer it was an act of terrorism. He was sentenced to 21 years in prison. The low violence in Norway is vastly different in Illinois. Comparing violence in Illinois to Norway is very alarming. Illinois is approximately 144 square kilometers, while Norway is approximately 324 square kilometers, making Norway 125% larger than Illinois. But Illinois has had at least 2,000 shootings this year, while there has been only one in Norway this year. In fact, there has been one mass shooting in Norway for the past 30 years. Also, the population of Illinois is about 12.8 million people. Norway has around 5.4 million people. Did you also know that authorities before this incident didn't even carry firearms? Currently, authorities can have a concealed carry firearm on them. Also, the only reason a citizen can have a firearm in Norway is for sports or hunting. Although in Illinois, it is much different as to whether anyone can purchase a firearm that can pass the minimum requirements. We've got a bit video to help you all understand. Hi, I'm Mike with Illinois Gun Pros. So how can you carry a gun in your car in Illinois if you don't have an Illinois license to carry? Well, that depends upon whether you're an Illinois resident or not. First of all, non-residents who possess a valid concealed carry permit from their home state are allowed to have a loaded firearm in their car. In other words, non-residents who are licensed to carry in their home state can carry, but only in their car. Illinois does not recognize concealed carry permits from other states beyond that. What if you don't have a permit? Well, whether you're an Illinois resident or a non-resident, the law gives you three options for having a gun in your car. Your gun is transported legally in your car if, number one, it is broken down into a non-firing state. So if you disassemble the gun, you're fine. Or, number two, it's not immediately accessible. This one's really vague and open to interpretation. Most police officers will use the rule of thumb that it must be out of arm's reach, but don't count on that. Some police officers will tell you that they interpret this to be the gun has to be in the trunk, but that's not exactly what the law says. The third option is very clear thanks to the Illinois Supreme Court Diggins decision. This says that it's legal to possess a firearm in your car as long as it is unloaded and enclosed in a container. Now, you can have a loaded magazine with the gun, but it must not be in the gun. A loaded gun is a felony, so don't put the magazine in the gun without a license to carry. And remember, the container must be closed. So what is a container? Well, a glove box or the center console of the vehicle both qualify as a container. So what if you're an Illinois resident and you don't have an Illinois license to carry? Keep the gun unloaded and keep it in a container. Then get yourself to an Illinois concealed carry class and get licensed. And now a message from Norway. There's a common myth in the United States for those that look over the Atlantic with rose colored glasses to think that a country like Norway uh, must have very strict gun control, therefore that's why they have little crime. But the fact is, Norway is actually one of the, has one of the highest ownership of weapons per capita in the world. And what does this tell us? This tells us that guns in the hands of citizens doesn't mean increased crime or increased murder. When you have a population like Norway that holds as many weapons as it does but still maintains a low crime rate, there is no correlation there. Correlation does not mean causation, as many on the left would purport it and, and have us believe. You look in the United States, for example, cities like Chicago, Detroit, New Orleans, Washington, D.C. These cities that have the strictest gun control laws that, are, that exist in the United States, yet somehow they also have the highest crime rates in the country. Then you go to the states and cities that have the highest gun ownership, and they're often the ones with the lowest crime rate. Firearms in the hands of private citizens does not translate into higher crime within that city.
what that does is it gives people the tools to protect and defend themselves against someone breaking into their home or against a tyrannical government. What it doesn't do is translate to higher gun crime. I hope those videos helped you understand the difference in gun regulations. We hope you see why Norway is way safer than Illinois. This has been the first shooting in Norway since the late 1980s. Meanwhile, Illinois already had over 2,000 shooting sessions. With that, we hope you enjoyed and learn about this segment. Penguin Plus Pro, signing, signing out. out.